is your favorite NHL team going to make playoffs next season? I'm going to be using this one right here to be getting random NHL teams at the rank of in four categories to see if they'll make playoffs next year. This is episode number three, so make sure to check out the first two episodes right here. They will be in the description, so make sure to check that out after the video. Let's get straight into this video, guys. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy. Let's get straight into this video. Does your team have what it takes to make playoffs? Let's find out. The four categories for this video is going to be no chance, it's possible, very likely, and 100%. All right, guys, here is our lovely, lovely wheel. We have 17 teams left. Let's do about eight this episode. Then we'll go nine next time. So let's do this, baby. First team of the episode is going to be... Who is it? Carolina Hurricanes. Obviously, this team just get way better. They did get swept last year in the conference finals, but we don't care about that anymore. We do not care about that anymore. That's in the past. And now, will they make playoffs? The obvious answer is yes. I do think it's a 100% lock. I think it is pretty obvious that the Hurricanes are 100%, guys. This team is probably going to win their division, them or the Devils most likely. So I think it's 100% lock. They got better over the free agency period. And they still might not be done because they're in basically every trade rumor or any rumor in the NHL. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, 100% for the Carolina Hurricanes. It's just common sense. This team is very, very good. Next team here. Let's do this, baby. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Is it your team? I know we've been going over the Blue Jackets every every single time. So hopefully we get the Blue Jackets this episode. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers, the quick and easy answer is no chance. This team is really, 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 really bad. Um, they made some additions in free agency, but really not important ones, just some grinders. Um, but other than that, guys, like this team isn't really good at all. We, we all know this. They're going to be rebuilding for the next four or five years. I do like what Briere has been doing. Um, I think he's already been better than Chuck Fletcher. I think he's just, I think he's more aggressive, which is awesome with the Flyers need, but I think they're really, really bad. Hopefully some of the rookies can get developed during this next season or whatever, but this team is very bad. No chance. 100%. Next one here. Let's do this, baby. Who is it going to be? Is it your team? Is your team still on here? Comment down below. Comment down below if you agree with me on these picks as well. The New Jersey Devil. New Jersey Devils. I think this is a pretty obvious answer as well. It's a 100% lock for the New Jersey Devils. This young team made it to the second round. Lost pretty convincingly to the Hurricanes. But the Hurricanes were a, a more... Uh, we're definitely a better team at that game at that period. So it was understandable. But you beat the Rangers in Game 7 with a very, very young team with very little experience. Obviously, you had Palat and Hamilton and stuff like that. But now you have experience. Hopefully, Schmidt can take over the number one goalie in the crease. Hopefully, he can take that uh, position. And you guys definitely got better. You guys signed Meyer long term. You signed some of your guys. You signed Brat for long term. Obviously, free agency, you didn't do much, but you didn't need to, right? You didn't need to do anything in free agency because you have your guys. You have your guys long term. And boy, 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 this team is going to be lethal next year. And your young guys are just going to get even better. So I think it's 100% lock for the New Jersey Devils. That was pretty easy again. Let's see who else we get. Let's go. This is number four. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this. We're almost halfway there. All right. The Vegas Golden Knights, the Stanley Cup champions. Will they make playoffs next year or will they have a blunder and miss it again like they did the year prior? <laughs> It's quite obvious, guys. They're also going to make playoffs. This is 100% lock. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to do. I was going to go bold here, but that would have been stupid. I would have gotten a lot of hate comments, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. They're 100% lock. Um, Pacific's getting stronger. I know I usually say the Pacific's pretty pretty bad, but it's honestly getting stronger, man. It, it is getting really strong. So top three, 100% in their division. Will they get first in the division? That is a question because Oilers might sneak up there, or whoever might sneak up there. But I think 100% lock for the Golden Knights. Maybe they can go back to back. It'd be crazy, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go, baby. Let's go here. That was number four. We're halfway there now. Four more remaining. Let's see who we get. And it's going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs. This division, the Atlantic division, I just made a video on it previously. Very, very, very tough division, guys. Very tough division. A lot of good teams, but they are one of the best teams in this division. New, I know they made a lot of uh, moves on free agency. I don't know if I like them, I, but I do like them at the same time. They did get better, but at the same time, did they get better? I don't really know, man. I don't really know. Their offense did get better in free agency, but at the same time, their defense got worse. So we'll see if that works out for them. Goaltender situation is still kind of iffy in Toronto, but I do like the team. I do like Austin Matthews. Neil Andrew, he might not be there, so who knows what they do. So I think this team will 100% make playoffs. That is quite obvious. Let's go to number five, baby. Or is this number six? I think it's number six. I always lose count on these videos, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go, guys. Finally, the Columbus Blue Jackets. We skipped past them multiple, multiple times, and we finally, finally got them. But this one's kind of interesting, man, because they did get better in, in the offseason. 
Um, but this team's very interesting, man. Like, I'm glad that GM is trying to get better because the fans deserve it, man. The fans deserve good hockey, a good team playing for them because they do, they're they they're really good fans, man. They really are good fans. They sell out even when they're really, really bad. So they have a good team. They got Goudreau. Goudreau's going to have a better season like he did last year. Um, Fantilli's going to pop off. I'm telling you guys, you gotta, you guys got to steal there. You guys got to steal there. Fantilli's going to pop off. Um you guys got Provorov like cool he's not like a he's not gonna be crazy Severson's not super super crazy but he is a better defenseman than you guys do have uh Ransky's really really good obviously you guys have the pieces up front the depth is not the greatest I'm gonna be honest with you goaltender not super trustworthy if I'm being honest with you but I'm leaning towards it's possible but at the same time I really don't think there's a chance because there's just so many better teams in this in this division and conference like there's five maybe no there's probably six teams or even seven teams in the Atlantic division that have a good chance of making the playoffs in the Metropolitan there's a good four or five as well and you guys are not better than them so I don't think you guys have a chance so I'm gonna say no chance for the Columbus Blue Jackets but it's not because you guys are bad it's just because every other team in this conference is just super super good and it's just so hard to compete in this division uh maybe you guys can somehow sneak in somehow sneak in I'm not seeing it I think give it a couple years with Tantilly grow your younger guys and maybe you guys can make it but as of now I'm gonna say no chance for the Columbus Blue Jackets all right guys all right guys how many is this I don't know. I'm going to say number seven. I think we have one more after this. And I think we have one more after this. And that is the Chicago Blackhawks. Okay. Connor Bedard. Is he going to bring the Blackhawks to a Stanley Cup playoffs? No, he is not, guys. I'm going to say no chance for the Blackhawks. I feel like this is pretty obvious. Um, but the Central Division is probably the easiest division now in hockey. And does that mean they'll make playoffs? No. They're not better than Colorado. They're not better than Dallas. They're not better than Minnesota. They're not better than Nashville. Are they even better than Winnipeg? I don't think so. They're not better than most of these teams, if I'm being honest with you. But they are getting better. Obviously, you just skipped two years of your rebuild with Bedard, and now you have a generational, a generational player. But still, your team isn't there. Taylor Hall, he's going to be good, whatever. Corey Perry, trash, but whatever. But team is still not the greatest. So I'm going to say no chance for the Blackhawks. Give it a couple more years for sure. All right, guys, one more for this episode. Then the next one will be the finale. Make sure to subscribe so you do not miss out on all these videos. Daily posts, guys. Daily posts. You don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that. Nashville Predators. This team is very, very interesting, guys. This team is very, very interesting because they were selling last year. They sold at the trade deadline, but then they bought free agency this year. They got Ryan O'Reilly. They got Luke Shen. They got Nyquist. They got some good players. And they still have some really good players on the team. You have Yossi, Forsberg, Soros. You still have some really good players on the team. Depth up front is really, really bad in my opinion. Defense is not bad. McDonough, he's really good defense. And Luke Shen is going to add some good depth to that. But the forward depth is not really there in my opinion. But I think you guys will contend for a playoff spot. I'm going to say it's possible. I wouldn't say very likely. I don't say no chance. I think because the central division is kind of weak, man. I think you'll be fighting with Minnesota and maybe Winnipeg if they get up there. I feel like you might be battling for that for third place in the division or maybe even the last wild card. So I'm going to say it's possible. I'm leaning just getting out just like this last season. But I'm going to say it's possible because it, it really is possible with this roster because you guys did get better. So maybe Trotz is doing some big brain stuff selling last year. He honestly did. He scammed Ron Hextall. I hate you, Ron Hextall. He scammed us from the Penguins for Granlin. But yeah, your team's getting better. You have a lot of good prospects. Hopefully, maybe like Cody Glasson do what he can. I don't really know if he can provide that depth scoring but you guys need the depth but i'm gonna say it's possible for the nashville predators all right guys that is gonna be this video thank you so much for watching drop a comment if you guys agreed with these picks or not and what do you think your team is gonna do next year in playoffs can you make playoffs will you make playoffs are you in the rebuild Tell me, uh, comment down below baby but yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to drop a like subscribe guys it really really does help out a lot uh but once again guys be great and i'll see you guys later